The following is an excerpt from an Ask Slim member video. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube and share it. We put tons of new videos out every week. Like this video, give it a thumbs up, and follow us on Twitter at Ask Slim. Email matt at askslim.com and request a demo of our technical analysis services, trade planning tools, and amazing video workshops. Our services support all trading and investment styles. Please do enjoy this video. So now we're going to talk about the stock market. Um, the, the stock market uh, has uh, moved up uh, pretty steadily here, as I said, uh, and still not getting up to the point where it gapped down from over the 950 area for the S&P 500. It's been driven up by the NASDAQ, uh, which has been super strong. Uh, but now I've mentioned earlier in the show also that there is some sign of some outflow of money from those tech stocks, and that is likely to get the NASDAQ to begin to underperform the market and maybe lead the market into uh, a correction. So uh, I do think that the uh, market turning up this week was, t was a little bit early uh, from what we were looking at, but very soon it's likely to be a downward turn. I'm going to show you the S&P 500 now and you'll get an idea of this very very messy chart. Now I'm going to show you this period right here that leads up to the peak here for the stock market. I'll give you a little uh, tour of the cycles that we're in here and you can see well this is a little hard to read. There's a 21 day right over there. So this cycle that you see right over here was 21 days. This one was 22 days that you can see right there. And then the cycle pattern started to narrow a little bit. This was 20 days, this was 20 days. So you can see the consistency in these cycles. And we look at that. And look at here where the slim ribbon became positive. And uh, that was the support and driving this market up all the way. This is from October of last year when it turned positive until it started to roll over uh, when we had the big break in March. So that's a look at that portion of the chart. So you could see those rhythms. Now we're going to look at this portion of the chart right over here. And the key thing that we're looking at here is that this cycle, which bottomed here on day 20, also this was day 20. And that was a negatively configured cycle. That was a very strong message after we had seen all of these cycles before that, all positive, each one higher highs and higher bottoms. Then all of a sudden we got this one right over here, which was negative. It set up this failure in the sell zone and gave you this massive break. And we were getting sell indications all the way down. And then it started to improve in this rally. So what's what's going on right now is that we have kind of a narrowing of time frames going on. This was a 16 day low. This was a 19 day low right over here. And the minor cycle right over here was only eight days. So we could be dealing with, you know, 17, 18 day cycles in here and a little bit of shortening going on. This is four days off of that little low right over here. And it's not, it has not gotten back up to that high that it made right there at about 29.50. It's trying. It's really working hard at it. We do have upside momentum, but this is running out of time. And we have an intermediate pattern that is also in a corrective period that says it will come down for about the next couple of weeks. So we are looking for this rally to stop in here. And we're going to call for a down week in here getting down to well our the two targets here this one right over here is around 27 70 70 or so this one right over here is around 2660 2670 and these are the supports off of the weekly charts so we're going to look for it to get down into this support zone and that would take some pretty good selling and it would mean that the nasdaq is going to have to get involved in here on the downside for that to happen. So this positive uh, cycle here, right hand translation and swamping, could very well happen here. If it does, the analysis is going to ex extend out for another potential cycle in here. 
that will get you above the 2950. That would be, be the projection. If we get the failure we're expecting, then we would expect this rally to not be able to do quite as well. Maybe test those areas and then roll over again. So this is a uh, period in here that's very important. And we're going to call for this decline that you see here. A downside move, 2670, 2670, 2770. Those are the downward targets into the support zone. And that would be a pretty significant down week and a half, potentially, that we're looking at in here. So, uh, again, if this is day 8, this is day 12, we're looking for this low to come in day 18, 19, something like that. So that leaves you about a week and a half of some risk in here. And I think we're potentially going to see some pretty good declines. Maybe the news will start to support the fact, uh, like I said in the beginning of the show, that the, um, the economy is, is, is no way justifying these levels. You saw me show you the, the uh, amazing overvaluation in the market when you look at the peg ratio. And if you didn't watch the beginning of the show because so many people speed to this right here, Go back and watch the beginning of the show because the uh, uh, that peg ratio is really important. And we're in a period of massive, massive overvaluation in stocks. The uh, having gotten back up to the 61.8 percent here in uh, the bigger picture is is very normal after a big break like this. And this uh, would be uh, with well within the norm, even if it got up to the 78.6% way up here, would be well within the norm of a bear market rally. So those people that are just diving in here because they think it's the right thing to do and the economy is going to get past this and everything is going to be just fine like it was before, again, you're living in fantasy land. And I think the risks are very high for the stock market. And I think this week, for the very, very near term, we're likely going to see some of that with downside risk coming into the market.